What's going on, Bousters? It's your boy, Hippo Hippo here, coming at you with another vlog. Now today, we're not messing around. We're making some of these bad boys. It's going to be absolutely crazy. I love these things so much, man. Seriously. And I'm going to show you how to do it properly. I'm not messing around. Right, guys, this is enough that we got some butter in there. I usually take the pan. We just... Just like that. Seriously, it's nothing crazy. I mean, uh, maybe a little bit more water. Sorry about this, Bowsages. This is uh, this is turning into a disaster. Seriously. All right, that's good enough. Let's put the pan back down, okay? okay so I have a serious secret. Let's just. Uh oh. Oh gosh. Sorry, I have to get the match out. It's not lighting, as you can see. So we just gotta. Whoa! Just like that! We got this thing going! We got it going! There it is! Alright, so now we're gonna let this melt down a little bit. I'm gonna place the progies in there. We're gonna steam them. We're gonna cover them with this thing right here. We're gonna cover them like that. Actually, we can do that just to melt the butter a little bit faster, too. Alright, there's a, there's a secret technique to this that you have to wait to the end of the video to see it. It's absolutely insane. Just an update too, you have to get the sweet cheese pierogi, seriously. You also should never have a pierogi on uh, just by itself. You gotta have something with it, seriously. So today we're doing sausage. Look at those nice red sausages. They look beautiful. And also, I did put the pierogies in here. They look like they're starting to steam. We're gonna do that. Just just let, you gotta, you gotta slow cook these things. Don't force the pierogi to be done. That's the biggest mistake people make. They tear apart. It's a sloppy mess. The cheese is all over the dish. Ugh, it's a disaster. Seriously, just let them, look at that. Seriously, let them slow cook. I'm gonna focus on these things for a bit, okay? All right, I'll be right back. All right, Bowsages, so this is what we do now. Gotta be careful, you gotta be gentle on this part. Take these. And you just check on them, okay? You just check on them, okay? Nothing crazy. Just check on the pierogies. I'm doing a little. I'm doing a little surgery action right now. I'm, I'm flipping them. They're, they came frozen. I'm. They're, they were split apart. Let me show you what I'm talking about. See that? I'm just. I'm just trying to give them a little bit. There it goes. See that? Just be gentle with them. Like I said, we're slow cooking these things, okay? All right, let me continue doing that. I'll leave you guys right here. You can continue watching for a bit. All right. I'm going down. Follow me if you want or just hang around. Show me where to go. I'm already out. Full of bright ideas, so don't ask me how to get started. Oh, I sharted. All right, let's cover these. I'll be back with you when we get to the crisping process. All righty, Bowsages, check this out. So, as you can see, Kashi sometimes sends bad ones. Like, see that? There's a tear right there. There's a tear right there. That's got a little hole. But you know what? Overall, this is okay. So now what I'm doing is I'm letting these... They're, they're like, done steaming. I'm letting some of the steam go away. I'm going to let them crisp. And then I'm going to show you the secret to Kashi Sweet Cheese Pierogies. You don't want to miss this. Pretty Bowsages, so they're crisping up a little bit. I think that's good enough for me. They're kind of tearing apart. I got a bad batch. Sometimes it is what it is, no matter how gentle you are. I promise I was gentle. So are you ready for the secret? There's two secrets. Here's the first one. Let's get it started. Oh! Oh my gosh! What are you doing to the pierogies? I'm saving them. That's what I'm doing. It's a saving grace. Seriously. I'm not kidding. This is what you want to do. Now we're just going to let it steam again. And then I have one final step. Oh yeah. This is going to be good. So while the fruit is steaming, I just wanted to clarify something with you, okay? So the secret is, 
Use fruit. It doesn't have the frozen fruit. I want the frozen fruit today. I'm using this one right here. Um, the reason uh, I'm doing frozen fruit is I've had really bad luck with fresh fruit. I've been getting a lot of fresh strawberries. So I have to do just... Oh, shoot. I forgot about my sausages. Um, I forgot about uh, my sausages, but uh, they kind of burned a little bit now. But that's okay. It's not terrible. It's still got a nice browning tinge to it. So I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. That's not bad. That's okay. So anyways, um, what I was saying about the fruit though is you can do fresh. A lot of times I get like a pound of strawberries or half a pound of strawberries. I only usually end up using half a pound. And then I, I do fine slicing with them. I slice them up very thin so it just goes all over the place. It's great. It's fantastic. It's got good texture. This is whole berries. They're small. You're not really supposed to cut up berries anyway. So, I don't know. When I do frozen fruit, I usually do a mixed berry combo. It works fantastic. All right, let's see what we're at on this anyways. Uh, definitely can go longer. Oh, oh shoot. I got to turn I got I to focus on the second muscle stuff. Okay, this turned into a disaster quickly. I got powdered sugar all over the floor. And look at this. They're tearing up like crazy! I gotta fix this right away! Okay, bouncers, I'll show you the plates final. I threw some powdered sugar in here. I gotta clean this up. I have powdered sugar on my feet, too. This is absolutely a disaster. Ready, bouncers? I'm gonna get the plate ready. There it is. It's still looking pretty delicious. I'm not gonna lie, but... Uh, I did mess it up a lot. And those sausages, I don't know. We'll see how this goes. Alrighty, I got the plate ready. show you some aftermath. I mean, look how messy this is turning out. There's powdered sugar all over. Clean this up. I clean this up a little bit. Let's get to the plate anyways. This is what we're here for. This is what we're here for. All right. Let's eat together, sausages. All right, so we'll start with the sausage because this is the main act. We just, let's see if I even cooked it good. Let's look at this. It looks a little pink, but we're going to eat it anyways. Absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. All right. This is what we're here for. Let me show you the cross section. Look at this cross section. Okay, ready? Look at this. Ready? Oh my gosh. Mm. It never gets old. I can take a whole one like this. Plop it in my mouth. Oh, that's hot. You can see the steam coming off of that thing. Oh my gosh. I'm attacking deliciousness. Out of all the ones I've made, this is still an 8 out of 10. These can go up to 10 out of 10s though. But that's how you do it. You put some uh, secret old... Uh, ow. I'm biting the fork. I'm biting the fork. Um. But that's how you do it. Um. Anyways, Bowser's, it's been your boy Hippo Hippo. That's how you make the Kashi pierogies and, um, very good flavor, okay? I'll catch you in the next vlog. Don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next vlog. Peace.